Welcome to Eco Ask Why and another Straight Talk with Chris episode. And today, I may step on some toes, and that's okay. But I'm doing it because I want to make us better. So what I'm talking about today is stop puking features and benefits. Okay, there you go. Who else besides me is tired of feature and benefit selling? You know, let's get real. If I'm interested in what your product or service is, I've probably already done my homework and begin mapping out how it can help me. Bottom line. So what people want to know these days, instead of features and benefits, is something different. And I think what they want to know is, how is this going to solve my problem? Period. That's it. They just need to know what it's going to do for them. The whole mindset of, I got to show my features and benefits because they may not know about this one feature down here on page three, subset C, you know, th- those days are over, you know, here. And I want to give you some ideas. If you're really stuck on this, some ideas to think about to move past features and benefits and actually start focusing on solving problems. Number one, it's a simple one, but you got to understand the problem that needs to be solved. And I'm not talking about surface level understanding here. Digging deep, getting to the root of the issue that needs to be solved, and then being able to speak to the metrics that will be impacted if you can find a resolution. Because if you can speak to the metrics, to the problem itself, if you can solve it, then you're speaking the language that, that really matters. You know, we're not talking about you know this mystical type of ideas. You're speaking specifics to the problem that's important. And you can only get that if you truly understand what the problem is. I know it sounds simple. It gets missed all the time. Number two, highlight ways that the problem could be addressed with your solution. And here's the trick in as few words as possible, okay? In this overindulged world we have today, you know, it feels like every time you get people are just talking, to be talking, to be talking. How awesome what is it when someone just cuts through the crap and, tell, and gives you the truth up front? I know for me it's liberating. I love it. At that point, you got my attention. So if you can find ways to solve problems in a simple format, and be able to actually get others to understand what you're bringing and the value that it creates, that's a touchdown. People are naturally going to gravitate to you. So that's a big one. You have to find ways to highlight what the problem is and how you're going to address it. If you do that simply, you will be successful. And then number three, listen. And I'm talking about listen to understand and check for alignment. You have you you know your solution may have missed it at the gate. It's not all we're not always going to hit a home run you know on the first swing right. And in those instances, I always think about growing up. I was a big Bugs Bunny fan and the Coyote and Roadrunner. And that Coyote, he was at the drawing board all the time, trying to figure out. He figured out what he went wrong and he tried something different. Now Coyote was never successful, but you will be. But go back, take that feedback. You know, your, your solution at the gate may not have solved the problem, but you can go retool, come up with a better idea, and then go focus on solving the problem. You know, so it's, it's just crazy. Don't think, I've actually, some of the best calls I've ever been in my life, there were no brochures, no trifolds, you know, no PowerPoints, probably just step on some toes there. And then it was engaging conversations, trying to understand what's important the problem they're trying to solve, and me really listening intently to figure out, is there a solution we have that's going to help them? And I think if we make that shift in mindset, you know, knowing the features and benefits, you probably need to know that if you're a subject matter expert, but that doesn't mean you have to puke them out to everyone, okay? So really, I know this is a a, a touchy subject. Challenge my thinking then. Where am I off base with this? You know, maybe you like features and benefits selling. If so, I'd love to know why. And the question I want to leave you with is what are you going to do today to stop puking features and benefits and actually start solving problems? There's your question. Now, if you're liking Straight Talk with Chris, 
please give us a five-star rating. Write us a review. It really makes all the difference in the world. We're still doing the war stories. Love them. It's, the feedback's coming. It's great. I'm so excited for the war, the war stories to come out. I think they're going to be ways to connect people with ideas that you just never would have expected. And, you know, we're thinking about the stories that you're telling at the dinner table, at parties when you go to. The story that pops up, like, I can't believe that happened. They're the ones we want to tell. We're going to change the names to protect the innocent and all that stuff. So, hope you're enjoying Eco Ask Why. Thank you for taking the time to spend with us. And remember, keep asking why. Thank you for listening to Eco Ask Why. This show is supported ad-free by Electrical Equipment Company. Eco is redefining the expectations of an electrical distributor by placing people and ideas before products. Please subscribe and share with your colleagues and friends. Also, leave comments, feedback, and any new topics that you would like to hear. To learn more or to share your insights, visit EcoSY.com. That's E-E-C-O-A-S-K-S-W-H-Y.com. 